Hello everybody, today I want to share with you how I make a geometric artist trading card using Fun Foam. First what I did was I took some golden gel medium and that is what I used to adhere the Fun Foam to the page because the adhesive on the Fun Foam wasn't strong enough to hold it to the page. I got the Fun Foam at Michael's. Michael's had a sale about two weeks ago that if you bought a canister for eight dollars you could get a second canister free so basically I got two canisters for eight dollars and they were huge so they had a lot of shapes in them and the shapes that I purchased here they had squares triangles circles and hearts and I didn't use hearts because they're not really geometrical so what I did was I glued these all down with the golden gel medium I'm just using a foam brush and I'm sticking it to a plain piece of cardstock that I've already cut to the artist trading card size. The gel medium dries really fast so you can go ahead and step to the next step which is to paint the entire card with gesso. The gesso will help cover up whatever color the fun is to worry about what color of pieces that you put on your card, your scrapbook page, whatever you want to put this on but you do want to use a stipple brush. A stipple brush is a flat brush that's usually round and probably anywhere from about a quarter of an inch on up to like three inches in size you can buy these. Now I'm just using one that I got in the craft department to get into all the crevices around the fun foam. Then I used my heat tool to dry the fun foam and paint but you have to be very careful to not let the heat gun set very long on the fun foam or it will melt. <clears throat> I put two coats of gesso on my card so that it would really cover up the color of the fun foam pieces underneath. And then I'm using just plain simple acrylic paint. You can get it at the hobby store you know, two for a dollar, three for a dollar sometimes when it's on sale. I'm coating the entire page with that paint after I dried it one more time after the gesso has dried. Again, I'm using another stipple brush so that I can really get down into the areas. If you use too much paint at one time, you'll end up with big globs for example, in that center of the triangle, if I wasn't careful, the paint would pool in there. So I had to make sure to be very careful and not get too much paint. As I was painting this, I was noticing how light blue this paint was. And I thought, well, you know, I need to do something else with it. But I couldn't quite figure out what yet. But I went ahead and used silver Lumiere paint. The Lumiere paint paint is something you can find in the art supply section at most hobby stores. I've had mine for a while now. Again I'm using a stipple brush with it as well and I'm just putting it on the card and not on the actual foam pieces if I can help it. I wanted the background to have more of the silver in it and not the actual pieces. Now is when I realized that I did need something better, so I was digging around in my art box looking for my blue paint. And I think I need to buy more paint because I didn't have very many shades of blue left. Again, I'm just stippling just a few spots of the blue and then I'm blending it in with the other shade of blue that I had. And I'm going to go back over it just a couple of spots with the silver so that the silver will shine through really well. I'm going to dry this again with the heat gun just to speed up the process. It took all of about 10 minutes to make this card. I just sped it up so that you guys didn't have to watch all of those steps so slowly dragging by. I use Brilliance ink because it's a pigment ink and it's thicker so it would stand out more on this image. I used an art stamp that I got from Stampers Anonymous a couple years ago. 
it might stick to your cards you have to peel it off if you want more of the image down around the shapes just press harder because the fun foam will give just a little bit and then you can get more in between and then after this you'll see some samples of other ones that I made in different colors this was fun this was simple and this is a way to use some of those weird fun shapes that you have that you were wondering what are you going to do with them because you don't like the color you can paint over them so have fun with this technique don't just use it for artist trading cards use it on your scrapbook pages your altered books any kind of art that you're creating have a great day thanks for watching don't forget subscribe and comment bye